Libero, Lola Schumacher, and DS Gulje Guchtekin are both out with injuries. So Sage Damro, the redshirt freshman and former number two overall Libero recruit, is in the lineup at Libero for Wisconsin for UCLA. Audrey Pack, we, we're going to talk a lot about Charlie Furbringer tonight, but how good has Pack been this year at Setter? She was out two matches, and having her back has made all the difference in the world. When she's in the match, she's such a leader offensively and to the team. Pack is third behind only Bergen, Riley, and Izzy Stark during conference play in assists per set. That was Leverett into the net trying to bump set that ball. UCLA needs to dig a ton of balls against this very dangerous Wisconsin offense, and they have to be able to get swings out of those opportunities. Back set Dodson, and those are the type of misses that Kelly Sheffield warned us could be coming against this super large Wisconsin block. That wasn't even the block that caused that. It was just off rhythm for Audrey Pack and Anna Dodson. It's trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I think I'm with you on that as well. Leverett off the block, and that's what you have to do against the Wisconsin block. And Kelly Sheffield leading the way for Wisconsin in his 12th year as Badgers head coach. Twenty twenty one national champion. Serving specialist Kat Lutz. Furbringer to Orgel. UCLA needs to be really disciplined with their block, especially on those little jam throwdowns. As long as you're pressed over the net, you're not going to get used. Orzhul, the senior from Poland, highest hitting percentage of her career. This is the redshirt freshman from Howards Grove, Wisconsin, Damro, on the serve. Leilani Dobson has to tip, and Crawford is blocked. Audrey Pack is one of the best blocking setters in the Big Ten. She actually earned her starting spot because of her strength defensively. There she scoots in to help on that three or gap set, and it pays off for the Bruins. Pack goes behind the service line. Block gets to Smrek, point continues. And Crawford knew what to do with the situation. Head what? coach for UCLA, Alfie Reft, in his second year, the alumnus of Hawaii, and in a little bit of a rebuilding phase right now for UCLA Holly. All the coaches across the Big Ten talk about Alfie Reft, the respect that they have for him. They know that this is a transition period, but he's going to have UCLA up and running at a very high level soon. Server Miley Chan also forced into action due to those injuries. Sheridan Leverett has the kill. Leverett has learned how to use the entire court, figure out ways to swing around big blocks, and she's not afraid to go for it, especially this big swing, deep corner. No defender in that corner. Alfie told us that as the season has gone along, Leverett's become more fearless, and she's willing to live with getting blocked here and there, always comes back for that next swing. Good cover by Duick. Damro has the dig for Wisconsin. Back row Franklin. Longest rally so far. Row by Orzel. A couple of defensive plays in the front row for Kiki Horn during this point. Orzel once again hits the angle. It's off the net and kept up momentarily. But Yulia Orzel connecting for the Badgers. I talked to Alfie Ref today and he said, look, we are not allowed to tip the ball. We need to be aggressive and swing. And we need to put the ball away in transition because as the rally extends, it plays into Wisconsin's advantage because Charlie Furbringer in the pocket is very good at running the offense. 
not allowed to tip. He is barring his team from tipping. He said, hey, if we're going to knock off Wisconsin tonight, we are not going to tip. We are going to go down swinging. Leilani Dodson, Anna Dodson, the two middle blockers for UCLA. No relation there. And Leilani to the back row to serve. Swing by Devin Robinson. Pack has to run to chase that down, and Kiki Horn reacts nicely. Kiki Horn for UCLA does a really nice job getting her feet to the ball. Looks like she might want to recycle it, but she saw an opportunity to use the outside hand of Charlie Furbringer, and look at her wipe it off that hand tooling the block for UCLA. Wisconsin, the top offensive team in the Big Ten, number one in hitting percentage in the conference, number six in the country coming in 304. A lot of that to do with Franklin. Crawford tries to serve short, serves it into the net right there. Well, Lola Schumacher for Wisconsin was injured in warm-ups, got hit in the head. It appeared that Guljay Guchtekin, their number two DS, was already planning to sit tonight. Franklin in the middle of the court. How do those missing players impact this matchup? Lola Schumacher and Gigi the DS for Wisconsin have been really important parts of the backcourt defense. But this Wisconsin team has a deep bench, and it's an incredible opportunity for Sage Damro to get an opportunity to show her coach what she can do. Damro is the number 10 overall recruit. A couple of classes ago, number two, Libero. Kiki Horn threads it down, a player who has been hot and cold this year. When you look at Wisconsin's defense, you say, okay, they're big. How do we beat them? And the first answer is size. On that last set to Horn on the left pin, they're able to use speed to beat the block of Wisconsin. Sydney Breon recently has played her way into a more elevated role at DS. Service error for number 10 in white. Watch UCLA attack the right side of the court. It's Dodson. I knew that was coming because Anna Smrek and Carter Booth really dominate on that left side block. So you want to set away from it. Audrey Pack does that right away. Well, and UCLA's middles are known for being good on the slide. So it is a favorable matchup in that regard. Nice serve by Kat Lutz. Doesn't matter though, Wisconsin knows how to terminate Carter Booth. Charlie Furbringer and Carter Booth have really found their connection. They were perfect as a combination on Thursday night against USC and that string continues. What's improved about the connection? When you're setting someone who's 6'7", that height, just getting the pace and the location perfect it's, it's a challenge. You don't have a lot of 6'7 middle blockers. The tallest I played with was 6'2", so trying to find their window is the challenge for the setter. Especially with Wisconsin, Kelly Sheffield made the point. They're using three different middles. You have players like a CC Crawford or an Orzel who have different windows. So you're looking at different hitters, different dimensions to have to set into across the net. Charlie Furbringer has continued to get better as this season has gone on because she has found that window. And she's been locating the ball really well for the Wisconsin hitters. Yeah, there are two outsides. Franklin is 6'4", Orgel is just six feet tall. Booth 6'7", Robinson and Crawford a little shorter in the middle. And of course, there's Anna Spreck at 6'9", for the Badgers. Furbringer to Crawford, who has really come on as this season has gone along in a lot of different ways. But Leverett in transition scores for the Bruins. Sheridan Leverett working hard and taking big swings on the left side, but it starts with a dig. And UCLA knew they had to come up 
with some stops defensively, but it's the transition offense that scores the point. Leverett has managed to expand her range this year. The junior from Hampton, Georgia, taking a big step forward this season. Former beach player at Stanford, Kate Riley serves it up. That is smashed. Yulia Orgel. UCLA block chasing on that one, and Orgel, who was the libero last year for Wisconsin, is very comfortable and very happy to be back in that hitting role on the left side for Wisconsin. Serves at Riley here. Grace Olson. Damro the pickup, but the overdig is not handled by the Bruins. Missed opportunity. The Bruins need to communicate. I'd rather have both players hit that, then both players miss that. Somebody has to be aggressive. That's a big point opportunity missed. Same service spot, Pack. She was facing Olsen and it worked out well. Grace Olsen, Jr. from Pleasanton, California. Grace Olsen has really emerged as a big weapon for the Bruins on the right side. UCLA asks a lot of her six rotations and she gets a lot of attack opportunities on that right side. See a lot of right sides in the NCAA game come out for the back three rotations. A serve, and the Bruins have tied up this first set on Leilani Dodson's ace. UCLA had to come out aggressive tonight, playing one of the best teams in the country. I love this line-to-line -line serve, and it takes a little left turn on Yulia Orgel and gets away from her platform. That's the part of the court where Coach Sheffield has noticed more teams have been serving the Badgers and Dodson creating more problems out there. Second straight ultra effective serve by Leilani Dodson, the Northwestern transfer. Attacking from the service line is so important if you want to beat great teams. And Dodson, if you watch the rotations on that ball, it's perfect, it's clean, flat and clean, no spin on that ball and that creates the most movement. Block touch against Franklin. And Dodson picks it up and throws it down. Anna Dodson number, Dodson, number two for UCLA, does work. Look at her get this block touch with her right hand. The whole time she's yelling at Audrey Pack, get me the ball, and look at that transition kill. Perfect. Just pushed her away from the setter a little bit there. 4 nothing. Bruins run. Franklin puts an end to it. Bruins unable to come up with that ball. They need to take care of all those little touches, be really disciplined. Those are all opportunities to set back and score. You have to be close to perfect against a team of the caliber of Wisconsin. Carly Anderson, the server. High off the block there, kept in play on the Olsen swing. Thumbs down swing by Franklin. Free over for the Badgers. Back row, Orgel. Dewick picks it up. Kiki Horn in transition. Miley Chan had the dig. Here's a chance for Olsen. Chan once again. Franklin tips, set her out of the play. Olsen. Is roofed. It looked like UCLA was ahead in that point. UCLA had opportunities, but the block work, especially on the left side, watch Sarah Franklin and Carter Booth seal that ball. Nice press over the net, nowhere for Grace Olson to go. This has been really good volleyball. First part of the first set between the number six team in the country and a team on the outside of the tournament looking in at the moment. Double contact called on Wisconsin in a first set that has already featured eight different ties. UCLA early, albeit, against the number six team in the country. For UCLA, they're hitting 368 against Wisconsin. I mean, those are incredible numbers, and you're going to win a lot of matches hitting those kind of numbers. 
diving play. Orgel, as you said, last year's libero and saved by Chan off the bench area. Slide attempt, Dodson into the block touch. Sarah Franklin off the high set. Riley scoops it up. Nice set by Pack to Kiki Horn, who's had the hot hand in the early going. How about the hustle play? Look at this, Kiki Horn trying to throw it down. Orgel goes airborne, and then Miley Chan chases it. One arm dig, bringing it back into the court. And this is something UCLA said they wanted to do. Transition set the ball inside to shorten the block approach of Wisconsin. Franklin really turned that thumb down for that swing. Sarah Franklin has been playing some of the best volleyball of her career. In the last three matches, she's had one hitting error, and against USC, she hit for a ridiculous 600-plus hitting percentage against USC, a very strong defensive team. She was just this week named an ABCA National Player of the Year semifinalist after winning the award last year. And her numbers actually are up this year from last year when she was the National Player of the Year. Tonight's State of Success is brought to you by State Farm and just the one error for Franklin with all of that kill production in the last three matches. Cover Peyton Duick, the libero for UCLA. Down the line, Sheridan Leverett and the outsides for the Bruins have been cooking early on. UCLA has the right mindset, and it's all about attacking the ball. Look at Duick push that ball up, and then Sheridan Leverett turns that ball down the line with heat. And so a timeout is called by Kelly Sheffield. His more volleyball comes your way when eighth-ranked Purdue hosts Illinois. Coverage begins 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Don't sleep on Illinois right now. Team that looks like they're playing their way into the tournament, but not one that gets a lot of attention in this conference. Kills per set leaders in the league. We're going to see Eva Hudson in that advertised matchup. And she's the only player ahead of Sarah Franklin in the league in kills per set. Spreck in the middle, and Dodson was ready. Let's not forget how good of a player Anna Dodson is, despite some of the struggles for her and the team this year. Anna Dodson was Big Ten pre-conference all first team and look at her go to work she gets right in front of Anna Smrek not afraid to take on that challenges beautiful stop at the net for UCLA it was all Pac-12 each of the last three years Franklin down the line clever by Pack finding Smrek and that led to a Bruins point Anna Dodson is fired up, and UCLA has established her as an offensive threat, and that makes her defense that much better. She is going to work defensively. Watch her eye work. She knows where that ball's going. No surprise, jumps into that block, shuts it down. Another timeout by Wisconsin. None left for the Badgers. It's a 6-1 to one UCLA run. It's been the, all about the defense for UCLA. They've been able to get some stops on the big, high, efficient attackers for Wisconsin, and that's a really good sign for UCLA. And the Bruins, again, they've found some more balance recently, so is that opening things back up for Leverett, who has gotten off to a nice start? Left-siders get a lot of the trouble sets out of system, so they have to be creative, but Sheridan Leverett has got some really nice in-system swings as well. And look at her move the ball around the court. You see her turn it down the line, going off the hands, attack in the corner. Really nice start, four for four, to start this match. Kiki Horn, three for six. Anna Dodson, three for six with one error. And conspicuous on the other side, Anna Smrek, who is such a gravitational force, they've been Able to keep the ball away from her when the Bruins are attacking. And when Smrek is attacking, the six foot nine senior from Ontario 
is 0 for 3 with an error, hitting negative so far. For UCLA, all season long, they've struggled finishing the set. They've been really close at the end. They need to put their foot on the gas. Wisconsin's in trouble. UCLA's got a ton of momentum. Can they finish and win this first set? They have a cushion. 20 to 15. Wisconsin has used both timeouts, and the second one nets them a free point off of a missed serve. Leverett is five for five. Earlier in this first set, UCLA was setting away from Smrack and Booth, but the pace of the set from Audrey Pack to the left side pin is fast enough that Carter Booth is chasing, and there's a big seam in that Wisconsin block. Is it faster than they would expect it to be? No, it's just got good pace, and the fact that UCLA has established the middle holds Carter Booth a little bit longer. So it's that, it's that last part, establishing the middle, because you don't normally see this Wisconsin block chasing. No, you, Wisconsin has really nice eye work there, but they usually stay ahead of the play with a tough serve, and UCLA's passing really well. Pancake, Leilani Dodson, and Leverett is six for six. A lot of times when the serve clips the tape, those drop, but Leilani Dobson lays her hand under that ball. That's a pancake dig and Sheridan Leverett. Six for six, what a start. Thought that might be the break that Wisconsin was looking for instead. A momentum builder again for the Bruins. Way over the top like Smrek is wont to do. Anna Smrek's contact point is 11-2. When I played back in the day, 10-3, 10-4 was the max. 11-2, think about that set. I mean, the contact point, that's a tough ball to stop. Oh, the first shot by Leverett that doesn't result in a UCLA point. Instead, Wisconsin scores. CC Crawford, number nine in red. She is the quickest middle blocker, one of the best in the country at closing the block, experienced on the Wisconsin side of the net. As you said, this Wisconsin team is really difficult to put away. The Badgers are still ranked opponents remaining, and they all want to finish with only wins to secure the highest NCAA seed they can. Looking forward to that Penn State Nebraska match on the final weekend of the regular season. Key termination there by Grace Olsen on the right side. UCLA is passing really well. They are siding out at almost 80%. That number is something you don't see a lot on a stat sheet. Well, I guess we're seeing what Kelly Sheffield was saying when he still felt like there's more to improve for Wisconsin defensively, even though they're one of the top opponent hitting percentage teams in the league. Down the line, it's thrown down by Yulia Orzel. Audrey Pack was there, but let it go because she thought it was out. Really important to play defense right on that line so you know if it's in or out. Orzel leads the team in aces per set. Horn off the hands, and Kiki Horn four for seven. The aggressive mindset in this match tonight for UCLA has been impressive. They're not allowed to tip, so they are going up and just whacking it as hard as they can. It's really paying off for them. To win a set against the Badgers. Kate Duffy, who had to fill in for Pack at center recently, fitting in. California pack. Here she is, first opportunity. We'll get a second opportunity. Right back to Lever at high swing. UCLA all calling for contact, and 
Referee tonight, Christian Kurzak, the R1, Brianna Spain down on the court. They didn't agree. Another aggressive rip, trying to find that corner, but no contact there, and they do not ask their coach to challenge that ball. Pack, again, calls her own number. Pretty good ball again from Pack after she got brought beyond that attack line. Hitter coverage is so important when you're playing a team like Wisconsin. They're going to get a ton of block touches here in transition. Audrey Pack going back to Sheridan Leverett, working her way through that block, finding a seam and taking advantage. Leverett got off to a six for six start. She's now seven for ten with two errors, has cooled down a bit. Lonnie Dodson slide into the block. The other way, Leverett. The block wins that confrontation. Carter Booth and Sprecht. Sheridan Leverett trying to find a way past that block, but Wisconsin very good. This combination of Anna Smrek on the pin and Carter Booth present a big challenge defensively. Does that count as a tip? It was close. She makes up for it on that point. Good things happen when you're aggressive. And when I talked to Alfie Ref today, he said, look, we've been missing blocks high trying to get touches, but today the block is up there and they will touch those balls if you swing high and flat. Well, Everett, nowhere near as tall as a lot of these Wisconsin players, but she can get up there as the hops with the best of them. It's actually an interesting contrast, really, between kind of two different looks. You have that size on the Wisconsin side, and they're so fundamentally sound, but Leverett, she is fearless. It can really fly. Sage Damro back to serve. If you missed it earlier, Lola Schumacher sustained a head injury in warm-ups. Gul J. Guchtekin also out today with an injury at DS for Wisconsin. Gigi's been battling injuries for Wisconsin there. You see Gigi in black on the left and Lola Schumacher. Looks like she might be in protocol wearing those glasses. Good pass by Damro. And Sprecht brings it down. Wisconsin's cleaned up their passing, and when Charlie Furbringer's in the pocket as a setter, she puts up a beautiful hittable ball. Damro puts it right in Furbringer's hands, and look at that one over the top of the block. Smrek puts a debt in the floor. Service error by Miley Chan, freshman from Portland, Oregon, who had played in just six matches, seven sets all year before being forced into today's action due to those injuries we just mentioned. Leilani Dodson had two aces in the first set. Nice save by Chan. Pack Olsen blocked didn't get there. UCLA got a free ball, took advantage. Grace Olson on the exclamation point from the right side. Starts with a tough serve, and Wisconsin was scrambling. Grace Olson gets on top of that ball fast from the right side. Teams are traditionally serving away from Franklin and Orgel, so Damro and Chen will get tested when they're in the serve receive position. Yeah, even when Schumacher was in there, they were serving at the freshman libero over those pins, which is unusual. I would assume that strategy would only be amplified now due to that change in availability. That was hit out, and it'll be Orgel going back to serve for the Badgers. Olsen is roofed. Sarah Franklin got out there and set the line nicely. 
Grace Olsen did a nice job passing that ball down the line, but the block for Wisconsin didn't have to move very far on that tight pass. And Sarah Franklin does really nice handwork over the net to cut that hit off. I don't know if Franklin's going to win back-to-back -back National Player of the Year. In fact, probably a lot of people would pick somebody in a Pittsburgh Panthers uniform. Could be, could be a possibility. But man, Franklin wins it last year, and then her numbers go up this year. Sarah Franklin has been really impressive this year. You're right, uh, winning the ABCA Player of the Year and then coming back and even being better. Uh, and she has been. I think she's having a much better year, and she's got more balance on her team, and she's still having that kind of effect. Who would be your pick right now? Sarah Franklin's a front runner for sure. I think Tori Stafford for Pitt has been impressive. Merritt Beeson, I like Harper Murray for Nebraska. I think she's doing an incredible job. She's not even in those, you know, semifinalists, but I'm just telling you oh. players who I think have been dominating. It's tough. Nebraska is so balanced that they don't have one player with those types of, that type of numbers. 5-1 run for Wisconsin. Oh man, they set that up well, and Franklin had no resistance. Charlie Furbringer, the freshman setter for Wisconsin, has just continued to get better and better. I love her decision making, and watch her isolate Sarah Franklin on the left pin. This is not easy to do when the team on the other side of the net knows she's going to get most of the balls. Here's a transition opportunity. Charlie Furbringer looks like she's going middle, but Sarah Franklin finds the open floor. Wisconsin, 10-6. The national championship contention race. When you, you look, you watch a team like Wisconsin, it's hard to imagine there's, there's more firepower elsewhere or you'd want to choose anybody else. But there are teams like Pitt and Nebraska. And what, what a race to the finish line it's going to be this year in NCAA Volleyball. It's really exciting. We've seen more upsets of ranked teams this year than I think in any other year. That along with attendance records, over 43 attendance records broken over the duration of this season so far, and they continue to break them. Carter Booth, that's off the block, and Leverett earns the stuff block for UCLA. You mentioned attendance. Wisconsin played in a match this year against Marquette. But I'll let you look at this first. Watch Sher Sheridan Leverett one on one, gets out there, seals the net. Carter Booth trying to go down that line and Leverett all over it. There's over 15,000 fans that watched Sarah Franklin connect on 33 kills in that Wisconsin Marquette match, the fourth most attended regular season volleyball match in the history of the sport. However, Franklin into the wall right there and a timeout taken by Kelly Sheffield. Maybe that first set wasn't a fluke. Going to break. Blocking the best blocking team in the country, Wisconsin, five to four. So really nice defensive start. UCLA's on their assignments defensively. They know what's coming. They know what they want to take away and they've been able to execute at a really high level. Oh, Damro got caught in between thoughts, touched it. It's an ace, and UCLA has scored four straight to tie it. UCLA is putting a little extra zip on their serve and attacking the seam between Orgel and Damro. Damro's in there in a new position for Wisconsin, and UCLA is relentless about going after her. How much of an impact has that aspect of this had so far, the absence of Schumacher, the insertion of Damro? It's a new passer on the floor in that rotation. So uh, there takes a little adjustment, but Wisconsin can figure it out. Not going to work against Smrek and Booth. If you're UCLA and that pass is behind the three meter line when Smrek and Booth are in the front row, 
go the other direction or run something from the back row because there's just nowhere to go. And in out of system situation, it just plays into the block's hands. Difficult serve by the Hermosa Beach native Charlie Furbringer and part of her homecoming after Wisconsin took care of USC in a sweep earlier this week. Charlie Furbringer has been scoring so many points from the back line in this rotation. This is called rotation one when the setter's right back and she's on the service line. And another one goes down. Furbringer has been neck and neck with Izzy Stark this year. They were the top two recruits in the country. Prep Volleyball had Furbringer at number one. Charlie Furbringer, something special. She brought this entire Wisconsin team to Hermosa Beach and they did a yoga session on the beach. So she showed them where she's from, a little bit about what makes her tick and they had a great time. Leverett earns the point. Wisconsin has all three of their hitters stacked on the left side. Again, off the hands, Leverett converts. When you've got Smrek, Booth, and Franklin in the front row, that's a very stressful situation for a blocker. Audrey Pack was one on one, gets a fantastic block touch, and they transition it back for a kill. Fantastic transition offense for UCLA. UCLA uses two liberos, new rule this year. One of them, Lutz, is in charge of serving, and she gets tied up right there with Lever at point for the Badgers. Couple different plays today. UCLA has not communicated on that tweener ball, and you need to over communicate those opportunities. Dodson on the slide. That's Leilani Dodson, to be clear. Leilani Dodson, number eight in white. Alfie Ruff said she's like a silent assassin. She just gets it done quietly, but she's quick laterally. Good experience for UCLA in the middle. Okay, I've been waiting though since you brought up the yoga. I I'm interested to hear your incisive analysis about how does yoga translate to volleyball? I feel like there's some, there's some good carryover there. That is Olsen. Nice little pose there potentially by Franklin reaching out for that and Orzel puts it away. UCLA was ahead of that entire play, but they were not disciplined to finish that block point in Orgel able to score. Look, yesterday was a day off for Wisconsin. Why not take a day off? It's called active recovery, a good stretch, a little meditation, and they were on the beach, in the sand, literally. Unfortunately for them, it was one of the windiest days all year on the beach, and it was cold. Cold by. LA standards. Correct. Leverett's been hitting high and it works once again. And before every single serve, this is what you typically see from Furbringer. I love that focus and maturity, visualizing what she wants to execute on the serve. The original call is a touch on Wisconsin. Point to UCLA. Wisconsin is challenging that there was no touch. The entire Wisconsin team motioned to their coach. No touch. I did not see a touch. Leverett swinging high and flat. Ooh. Might have got CC Crawford's right hand. Have to find conclusive evidence that there was no touch. Hard to see, this angle was the best for me. The ball does not change or switch direction, so I did not see a touch. 
You know, speaking about the, the recovery day yesterday and Wisconsin's trip out here, you know, it's fair this, this time of year, especially with, you know, kind of road weary, long travel season, all of that NCAA tournament coming up to have to go out here to California. Is it the most convenient timing? I don't know for most teams, but for Wisconsin, it could be favorable. I mean, Kelly Sheffield talked about how this is the time of year where freshmen can wear down. They need their freshmen right now, especially Furbringer, who, of course, this is home for her. He described it as potentially a, kind of like a shot of caffeine for Charlie Furbringer exactly when she needs it. Agreed. Charlie Furbringer got to come home and see her people. All of them have come to the USC game on Thursday night. They're all here tonight supporting her. She got to go back home to the beach. So as a freshman who's been away from home for a long time, I'm sure it's a shot of caffeine she needed. A lot of fans here wearing the Badger red, but they've been treated to something different than maybe they expected from UCLA as we're still looking at the replay here. Very difficult call to see if there was a, a block touch. You know, right now only year two for Alfie Reft. I think the mic was muted there mistakenly, so we're still waiting to see what they decided. And they reversed the call. Good challenge by Wisconsin. We're seeing some evidence, though, Holly, of Alfie Ref, the vision and, and what this might look like once this rebuild is closer to being finished. Every Big Ten coach I talk to about Alfie Ref says Alfie Ref is a great trainer. He's going to put UCLA back at the top. and. They welcome that, you know, the more competition, iron sharpens iron, and UCLA was one of the best programs in the country for a long time. So Don't hopefully you know. they'll be restored towards the top of the ranking soon. Well, probably no accident that Alfie Rep, who was a wonderful player in his own right as a libero, was a part of the Team USA silver medal winning coaching staff in Paris. Couple of reactions each way, and then over the top, that was Crawford. She's been doing that lately. CC Crawford blows my mind. I saw her do a jump set dump the other day. Look at this, how tricky, perfect execution, and, and she knows when to do it, but she looks like a setter out there and makes that play look easy. I mean, her pro career, no doubt, coming up. I mean, should she send some tape out? Potentially to be a, a dual threat, setter and hitter. Smrek to the floor. Anna Smrek working high and hard off the inside of the block. Audrey Pack there, but it was right in the seam between her and Grace Olson. 9-3 run for Wisconsin. And defensively changes a hitter's attack point. Is, is one of the things that makes her really special. A little bit of a homecoming for her as well, even though she's from Canada. Her father, Mike, was a part of two NBA championship Los Angeles Lakers teams in the 80s. Olsen, crossbody. to C.C. Crawford. Sage Damro in for the injured Lola Schumacher. Perfect pass to Furbringer, who feeds C.C. Crawford in the middle in that gap set. Wisconsin has a unique system offensively where they use three different middles, and they don't move them in and out of the lineup just sporadically. They actually have a structure. If you think about it, there are six rotations split into two with serve, receive, and serving. So it's like 12 mini games, as Coach Sheffield describes it. And they split Robinson and Crawford three and three. Booth gets six. Because they want to utilize each of their players' strengths. They're not trying to get cute. This is what they feel like is the best thing to win. Another Crawford set, this time sets a teammate. 
And Kiki Horn is five for nine, a player who has struggled to hit efficiently this year. Kiki Horn is a true freshman for UCLA. <laughs> And this is a tough stage to compete on. In the Big Ten Conference, you're playing against a gigantic block and strong defenses behind. But she's been getting better and better offensively in terms of efficiency as the season has progressed. North Carolina Gatorade Player of the Year. And she's been put in a really difficult position this year. They have some older players that are unavailable. And could be some times, could have been some times when Horn might have had a chance to watch and instead has kind of been pressed into action this year with really no choice as Wisconsin has the seven point lead with Orgel going back to serve. UCLA had Wisconsin out of system and then they were not disciplined enough on the block to score the point. UCLA hitting zero in the current set. And there Horn runs into the block. Wisconsin is dangerous when they serve tough, get you out of system, and your offense becomes predictable because their block gets, sets up, gets set up and then really takes care of business. Yeah, we've seen those two different versions of how this match could go between the first set and the second set. The first, Wisconsin was definitely chasing and out of system more. Franklin puts the Badgers on set point. Wisconsin set that ball inside for Sarah Franklin, and she's attacking Grace Olsen, the right side blocker, who's a little bit late on her press. Big turnaround from first set to the second set. A lot of noise from the Badger fans in attendance, and an ace to end the second. A 10-point set victory for Wisconsin. It'll be the first time in conference play all year they have won back-to-back -back matches. The reflexes by Anna Dodson, but a chance for Bringer. Faster tempo set to Franklin. Two players on the deck. But a point for Wisconsin despite the effort. Great block touches, bodies flying, and Leverett tries to get it over, but didn't have a good angle. Grace Olsen, Sydney Breon, both giving it their all during that point. Pretty good pass by Duick. Here is Dodson rolling it down. UCLA started swinging the entire first two sets, so now defense is on their heels, and those type of Half-speed shots drop. So Alfie Reft might be allowing a few tips now. I am not quite sure. He said we're not allowed to tip. So maybe they've got the green light now. And yeah, that was kind of a roll shot, so I don't know if it fully qualifies. We'll see. We'll, we'll monitor those developments as Booth didn't get the clean connection completely there on the slide attempt. Pack Leverett. That hit the block and then hit out. So it's a point for Sheridan Leverett. Leverett one on one. Audrey Pack went right back to her. You'd think she'd want to go away from Smrek, but Leverett on this tight ball gets a one on one opportunity working off the outside hand of Smrek. Smrek smash down from the middle. She can hit from the middle of the net, let's not forget. Anna Smrek is so versatile for Wisconsin. She's very good at the quick attack and one-on-one, -on -one, so hard to top. stop. Look at her get on top of that ball. Nice kill by Leilani Dotson to go back to Smrek for a minute. It's actually crazy because we talk about the three different middles for Wisconsin. Well, they really, they have four different attacking options from the middle, including Smrek in very different locations, but Charlie Furbringer has found her rhythm with all of her hitters, and that's what great setters do. It's like a quarterback. You find the range and the sweet spot for your receivers in football, and in volleyball, your hitters, and there's a sweet spot for Anna Smrek on the back set from freshman setter Charlie Furbringer. Insane back one. This is just audible because the ball's over on the left side. Smrek goes behind 
I like that decision by Furbringer. Kelly Sheffield said when things get a little bit crazy, Furbringer has already turned into their air traffic controller. What do you make of the transition? Kate Riley winning as player, beach volleyball, Stanford program history. She's now going to serve uh, the transition from the beach to the indoor. Kate Riley's special. She grew up playing both, so she's quite familiar with the indoor game and just a great competitor. Her ball control is exceptional. She's come in and played a huge role, one of the only players for UCLA to play in every set this year. Wisconsin in the net. Well, Coach Ref has mentioned that really it's, it's, it's similar. She's had to make a few different mechanical adjustments from the beach to the indoors. What might those be? Well, just body positioning, how to play defense, longer touch, obviously passing a little bit more challenging indoors. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's different. It's different. Just getting used to having five people on the floor or on the beach is just two players where you got to do everything. So common now for a lot of players to have that crossover experience as Kiki Horan tries to touch that one toward the block. It doesn't work out. Well, in a, in a day and age where youth sports have become so specialized, at least you still see a little bit of that versatility within volleyball circles with players going outdoors and indoors. Speaking of beach volleyball, Charlie Furbringer is a very good beach volleyball player. She could have gone anywhere to play collegiately as well. Her father, Matt, and her mother, Joy, both really accomplished players and coaches. Matt had an AVP career included in all of her parents' accomplishments, which we could spend an hour listing. But both parents won NCAA championships at their respective schools. Joy McKenzie Furbringer at Long Beach State and then Matt Furbringer at Stanford University. And in 2011, Joy, an assistant coach for UCLA when they won the national championship. So clear connection in a lot of different ways for Charlie Furbringer and her family, having grown up in Hermosa Beach, now getting the homecoming. And UCLA has been surprisingly good tonight. I know they came off of that win against Washington, but this is one of the very best teams in the country, and the Bruins have largely gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Chan really stretching down there for that dig against Dodson. Good back row play in this point for Wisconsin. Franklin to the floor. Alfie Ref has his green card out. He's going to challenge. There was a net violation in the middle of that rally. Sarah Franklin turning it down the line off the block of UCLA. The original call is Point Wisconsin, no net fault. UCLA is challenging that there was a net fault on the play. Well, we saw this in the Wisconsin-Penn State match that you had at the end of a set where you can go back right earlier into a point and challenge. Kelly Sheffield taking the opportunity to talk to his setter. It's the hair, hair does again. not count. It's the same thing that happened in that Penn State match. Coach saw the net move but it would turn out to be hair when they look back at it. That was actually a rule emphasis this year because of the fact that it's always been the rule, but so many coaches we were told have been sort of contesting, protesting in different situations. There was a reminder by the rules people going into the year that hair is not a violation. In a lot after further review, the call is confirmed. There was no net fault, no player contact with the net, just hair. Wisconsin, or sorry, UCLA will lose their challenge. A lot of players have that long ponytail that whips back when they turn off the block, especially, I believe that was Devin Robinson. 
And that created so much contact, it's hard to fault Alfie Ref for challenging that. He couldn't have known that it was just the hair there. So it was a worthwhile challenge, but nonetheless, UCLA has one challenge remaining. Wisconsin used a challenge earlier and won it, so they still have two left. Dodson nearly scores. Free opportunity, Olsen, Joust, Dodson against Robinson. Robinson hit the deck. Riley gets UCLA in system and transition and taking off of one foot, it is Anna Dodson. I was just thinking that after the first set, UCLA has not gone to Anna Dodson enough. She's working hard in the middle and transition defensively. She's calling for the ball every time. Takes a step in, goes in the seam and scores the point. 333, five kills, four blocks. We are seeing the range, a variety of shots from Dodson tonight. Audrey Pack converts. Audrey Pack is a, an offensive-minded setter. She loves to attack the ball, and when that ball's pushed to the net, watch Kate Riley just push this ball fast right into her hands. Wisconsin not ready for that at all. Playing time over the course of Pack's career has gone up and down, but this is really the first year now, she's had 6-2 opportunities in years past, but this year has not been a timeshare. It's been really Pac's time to shine, and she has taken advantage. <laughs> Service error, Carly Anderson, the Montana transfer, who had close to 4,000 assists for the Grizzlies. Not a bad backup setter service sub to have for Kelly Sheffield. She was actually setting during that Cole Center match when Franklin had the 33 kills because Furbringer was injured. That was the one match that Anderson set this year. <laughs> UCLA a little bit late on their block press defensively, and when they do that, they get used on their side of the net. They've got to be really disciplined. This ball pushed out from the three-meter line. You've got to make sure your hands on the, on the opponent's side of the net. Pass to attack. Sheridan Leverett using the angle. Sheridan Leverett working for the angles. Huge block in front of her going deep to the cross court. Not only does she have to hit it, but she takes the first contact. This is just high. High to the corner between two defenders. To the donut for Franklin. Sarah Franklin is so smart about the way she manages her offense. That's why she's so efficient, only has one error in the last three matches. Tight on the pass a little bit, but they still managed to convert. That's supposed to be Wisconsin's MO, still scoring points in difficult circumstances. Leilani Dodson able to hang enough to tip that one over the block for UCLA. UCLA, much better response in this third set. Net violation call. Leilani Dodson, really nice eye work defensively to get in front of Carter Booth. Looks like on the follow through her hand on the bottom of the net. Sarah Franklin, the big kill. 
Wisconsin has established all their other hitters. So Sarah Franklin gets a one on one, even though she's back row. This is a bick, a back row quick out of the middle from behind that three meter line, and she finds the corner. It's a West Coast type play. It is. Spreck steers that nicely away from the dive of Pack. A lot of people talk about Charlie Furbringer and the way she runs the offense, but she's a fantastic defensive player and has been in double figures many of the matches this season. One-handed Furbringer to Crawford. Oh, who's going to get there? And one of those lost points you've been talking about, UCLA missing a few of those opportunities. If you're the setter, you just go get that. Or yell help, but that's got to be your first response. Go get that ball. Spreck block didn't quite get there. Easy put down for the six foot nine Anna Spreck who touches 11-2. It's a four nothing Wisconsin run. And so Alfie Reft uses timeout for the top 10. RPI is one of the factors for the NCAA committee when they're picking the NCAA bracket. So KPI, RPI, ranked wins, all of those are factors for qualifying for the NCAA tournament. You look at what's at stake tonight. UCLA has been on the outside looking in, has slid down in the RPI, but a win like this could shoot them back up again. Wisconsin hoping they can vault their way into the top four of the country and host all the way until we get to the final four in the KFC Yum Center. Wisconsin's trending in the right direction. They've been playing their best volleyball of the season, but it's going to be hard to get into that top four. They're around number six right now, eight in RPI, eight in KPI, but they are definitely one of the best teams in the country. And if they're not in the top four when all is said and done in the regular season, whoever has to deal with Wisconsin True. is not going to like it. Nope. That's too many touches. Kiki Horn blocked. CC Crawford in on that one with Anna Smreck for Wisconsin. Well, since we last updated you, Wisconsin has retaken the advantage in the block count. It's now eight to five Badgers, and a miss serve gives it right back to the Bruins. to Horn using the left hand. And a Dodson answers that back row attempt by Franklin now. Orzel throws it. Dodson gets down low for the dig. Chan digs Olsen and Furbringer puts an end to it. Charlie Furbringer has such a high volleyball IQ. Sets up her hitter here and then gets an opportunity herself after this dig. Right on top of the net, just calls her own number. No blocker in front of her. Turns and throws that down into the middle. Wisconsin. LA is hanging around in this third set. Well, in part because of some service errors. That's becoming a little bit of a theme, Holly, for Wisconsin. They're now, they have 12 service errors. Duick, and this is the libero to the center. 
And it works out. Audrey Pack to the corner. UCLA's Grace Olsen, the right side player, lays down to dig that ball, and then the hitters have no approach line, so Audrey Pack just takes it and throws it to the corner. Everyone filling a different role than normal at that point, but it worked out for the Bruins. Devin Robinson, the former right side, takes a swing from that position. Devin Robinson finding that corner. Lots of heat behind that ball for Wisconsin. Wisconsin has so many offensive threats. So many players that can score at a high clip. Opposite in a six foot, in a six two, pardon me, system, six two offense. Last couple of years. And now one of their three working middles in the five one with Furbringer this year. Furbringer got that one. Audrey Pack's job is to get good one-on-one -on -one situations as a setter, especially against this Wisconsin block. She gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Carter Booth is late, but Charlie Furbringer, 24 in red, takes care of business with the solo block. The service errors that concern you at all if you're Kelly Sheffield, or is it just sort of sometimes you have to deal with it if you're serving tough? It, it's, you know, obviously 13's a lot, but if you want to get a team out of system, you've got to go for it. And as soon as you start backing up that service pressure, you get too tentative, and you have to attack from the back line. Oh, Dodson had a completely uncontested opportunity, and she missed. Audrey Pack is doing a really nice job being deceptive as a setter. Watch her back set this ball. Sarah Franklin thought she was going to block the setter. Anna Dodson just misses that one wide. Perfect set. That's like in basketball if you have your best player up for a layup and point blank, they, they miss. I mean, it's, it's you know, a little bit tougher than that considering that she's on the move. Slide attack has to find some open court, but with no block there against Dodson, that was another missed opportunity for UCLA, but they get the ball right back once again, and Kat Lutz will serve. Neck and neck in this match, and in the third set, Smrek from the middle. Charlie Furbringer to Anna Smrek. The connection is so good. High and quick, good location right in Anna Smrek's wheelhouse. Who is blocking that? I mean, I don't know if anybody is. Very hard to stop. Leverett uses the edge. Back and forth we go in the third. Not easy to use the outside hand of Anna Smrek. She's a very disciplined blocker for Wisconsin, but Leverett having some success tooling the block. Going alternate points for, for several stretches here in a row. It is packed. Serving down the line, perfect pass. Furbringer to Smrek on the right side. Anna Smrek is fired up, getting on top of that ball. Tons of power and just going over the top of the block. Smrek has taken charge. Now double figure kills, 10 for 16. Can Leverett convert, rattles it through. Sheridan Leverett has carried such a big offensive load for this Bruin team all season long that she's gotten really creative, finding ways to work through the seam, off the outside hand, you name it, she's got the tools. This has been a high side out rate for both teams. Who can point score? Smrek once again barely contested. She's always going to score in that situation. The location of the set to Anna Smrek on the right side is perfect. Starts with a great pass by Franklin and then Charlie Furbringer feeding Anna Smrek on the right. Beautiful 
execution on the right side. Well, right now, Wisconsin can afford to trade points. They have this slight cushion, and the service errors continue. They're 15th compared to just three aces. Okay, Kelly he looks Sheffield. a little upset about yeah, that one. He looks a little frustrated. I mean, this is the red zone, the end of the set where you want to execute at a high level. Wisconsin knows what's open offensively in that deep line shot falls for Orgel this year. Wisconsin began their season three straight losses. Number six, Louisville, then number one, Texas at the time, and number five, Stanford. And those were all road or neutral site events. But since that 0-3 start, Wisconsin has lost just twice. One of those was at Minnesota, and once was against Nebraska. On oh, the gap set, Wisconsin keeps it up. Dodson puts it down harder. I'm a former setter, and I love when the middle blocker, middle attacker wants the ball. Fantastic defense by Wisconsin. And then on this one, she yells, dog. That's going off one foot. She wants it again to kill it. We're seeing Anna Dodson take ownership of this match tonight. Damro scoops it. Franklin figures out a way to give Wisconsin set point. Sage Damro left back the Libero for Wisconsin, doing a really nice job controlling the heart attack from the Bruins. C.C. Crawford is the server on set point. Dodson is roofed. Up a set since they had lost to Nebraska. Also ends a streak of seven straight matches the Badgers have played in have been sweeps one way or the other, including six wins during that span. Sarah Franklin now 14 kills. Here's this dig, one arm. This set comes from off the net, really tight. I thought it was going to be a trap set, but Sarah Franklin elevated and went over the top deep for the kill. Set to Smurf. Three time first team all CIF. Leverett with her 16th kill, and she is hitting around 400. If you look at the offensive numbers for UCLA, there's Sheridan Leverett, and then there's everybody else, and there's a big gap between. Sheridan Leverett has 16 kills, the next player for UCLA, six. Why have they struggled this year to find more balance, which we did see a little bit against Washington? Not quite sure. They haven't had players be consistent enough in other positions to score at a high clip like Sheridan. And certainly a player that's more than capable in Anna Dodson. It has to be a frustrating year a little bit for her because the middles are a little more dependent on what's going on around you. And Dodson's numbers down from her previous campaigns when she was all Pac-12 the last few years as Smrek continues to feel it for Wisconsin. Anna Smrek is unstoppable right now offensively from the right side. She didn't even get a hold of that like she wanted to, and it still hit inside the angle. She is 14 for 20 at the moment. Anna Smrek after a slow start as well. Leverett finds the mark. 
Wisconsin has been serving really well in getting UCLA out of system, but Sheridan Leverett has been working so hard to work inside the block and kill that ball, taking big swings and not easing up. She became just the fifth Bruin in the 25-point rally scoring era with a streak of 20 double-figure kill matches this year with Carter Booth, who has been quiet today, ending a point for Wisconsin. Yulia Orgia with the perfect pass. Look at right into the pocket. Charlie Furbringer feeds Carter Booth. That connection has been really good in the gap. Booth had been hitting, in fact, is still hitting negative. She does have four blocks. Leilani Dodson answers. Leilani Dodson out of the middle, goes cross body, but hits it flat off the hands, out of the reach of the defense. Watch this ball. Cross body goes off the top of Sprack, out of the reach of the defense. Big strengths for Sarah Franklin is her passing. Really chopped there by Grace Olson. Franklin leaning in and scores. That ball was pushed all the way to the left side of the court, and most players are not going to run the bick on that, but Charlie Furbringer is a gunslinger, a very good one at that. And I love this decision. Sarah Franklin always has the answer. Coach Sheffield says, though, that she's learned better as the season has gone along when to be more of the gunslinger and when to play it by the book. Orgel lost control and commits a net violation. And a big thing for Wisconsin, their team has improved, and so much of that has been their freshman setter just her volleyball IQ was always high, but she's learning on the job, as you would expect. Just a freshman to do. Contact there, Devin Robinson with the point. That set was a little bit low, but Devin Robinson makes the decision to hit that flat off the hands of the UCLA block. Makes the right decision. Wisconsin hitting over 400. UCLA not bad, 225 but the Badgers are just too good at the moment. You know, there's been some moments for Miley Chan coming in, just seven sets played before tonight's match. Wisconsin has been really efficient out of the back row, but UCLA needs to be more disciplined. If they're gonna put a block up, they need to make sure their hands are pressed over the net. You think UCLA might use a timeout if Wisconsin scores on this point. Already some separation. Instead, Dodson sides out. I talked about UCLA trying to get Anna Dodson more involved. First of all, Really nice dig to see that tip coming by Dodson, and then she's rewarded with the transition set and the throwdown. Mentioned Alfie Reft, assistant coach, national team this summer. Dodson got to train alongside the national team going into the Olympics. Franklin out of system. Do it to pack to Kiki Horn. Orgel last year's starting libero. Not a great touch there. Coming off of the free ball, but another free chance. Pack Dodson. Another chance. Cover nicely. Good read by Damro. And UCLA net falls. Incredible defense. Look at Sage Damro all over. She knows Audrey Pack likes to be offensive minded, and then Audrey Pack gets a piece of the net trying to block that ball. Oh, 
Good bump set by Pack, and Horn pays it off. Kiki Horn going flat, high hands off the block, making better decisions against the Wisconsin block, and that's one of the things she needs to do as a freshman, figure out ways to score at this level. Started off well, her errors had climbed up. She had six kills and six errors until that swing. Now to get herself back in the positives. Sydney Breon, the sophomore from Dallas, the server there. And Carter Booth smashes one off of Anna Dodson. Elfie ref told me that especially on Carter Booth, you need to be up and over faster than you think. She's got a quicker arm, and obviously with her length, you got to make sure you're in the right spots. Chatting there with Grace Olson, who's junior opposite. Leverett kicks it, keeps it up. Good touch by Duick, but Dodson taps it into the block. Delay called timeout, and Anna Dodson delivers her eighth kill on 21 swings. Softer, pancaked and kept off the net momentarily. Good effort by Joy Ume coming in after she didn't appear in their win against Washington. Orgel made a little noise as she knocked that down the line. Yulia Orgel very good at going down the line for Wisconsin. The block moves inside. She's able to hit that with consistency. Looks like a tennis player right there as she followed through in that swing. Good job. Thumbs down swing by Leverett. We knew that Sheridan Leverett was going to have to take a ton of swings, 32 swings already for UCLA, and she's had a ton of success in 419. That's a really good efficiency number against one of the best defenses in the country. She looks like she could take another 32 swings if they ask her to. She looks in peak physical condition, as is Smurek. Anna Smurek is just going over the top, high to the corner. We've seen her go sharp angle. So tough to stop this ball. Even though UCLA has a well-formed block, she's able to find openings. This is why when you have the committee, which I would think would put into their consideration how teams are playing down the stretch, and you look at Wisconsin, I understand the pure record in the RPI is a little bit lower than those other teams at the moment fighting for the top four spots. But Smrek is just a matchup nightmare and potential cheat code they would scare me as much as any team in the NCAA tournament. Definitely, Wisconsin continues to get better defensively. We've seen their offense work for very high numbers. They are going to be a very dangerous team in the postseason. Keep in mind, Wisconsin plays at Nebraska on the 23rd of November. So a chance to bolster that resume. Smrek just off the line. We have Nebraska hosting Wisconsin, Nebraska going to Penn State. I'm looking forward to the Wisconsin-Nebraska. Even though Nebraska got the best of Wisconsin, I think Wisconsin's improved since then. Go 
Roy Ume taking a swing. Orjol earning the block. There's so many players to talk about in red jerseys tonight, but Yulia Orjol, solo block on the left side. This was a player who was a libero last year, but she's got a hitter mentality and loves the big block stuff on the left side for her team. And Leilani dots in with the miss. Wisconsin continues to separate. Wisconsin really affects you. We talk about their blocking, but they change your offense because you're trying to hit different angles than you're used to hitting, and that leads to unforced errors. Well, it was lost on me. I, I think I will say Kelly Sheffield maybe didn't intend the pun when he said they put hitters in a phone booth. Of course, they have a booth on their team in, in, in Carter Booth. He also likened it to when you're a quarterback having to fit the ball into a tighter window than you're usually accustomed to against a great safety. And you're going to throw more interceptions trying to force that ball in on the other side in football. By the way, Joy Ume in the front row right now has come in. And replacing Olsen right now in the rotation. She gets used right there. Ume transferred in from UC Irvine this year. She has hit in the past, but hasn't hit a lot this year. She can fill in at any pin. Big jumper for UCLA, but right now Wisconsin's defense just wearing out UCLA. Franklin finds the spot yet again, led by Smrek. Anna Smrek is a weapon for Wisconsin. As a freshman, she was the most outstanding player in the national championship game, and she continues to get better. Technically, high contact point. Yes. Got to keep in mind, though, I bet you there will be some people around the country. You see these top teams, the standard that they're held to. Oh my God, they lost a set. They also, by the way, have not had their top two DSs tonight. Schumacher, who got injured during warmups, and Guchtekin, who did not dress. Schumacher, it was kind of bizarre, was digging a ball in warmups and got hit in the head. And it wasn't even that hard of a hit, but just kind of got her in a weird spot. And, you know, I don't want to speculate, but take a look. And you can see for yourself what happened to Schumacher. Clearly de dealing with a head injury. Got the sunglasses on right now. Her nose was bleeding. But great response by Kelly Sheffield's Badgers having to put younger players in who have mostly delivered tonight. This is an opportunity for Wisconsin to use two players they haven't been able to who've been working hard in practice. So it's an opportunity to get them game experience, and it's a test for your other players to step up and help those players fit in and do their job. Of course, Schumacher young as well. Kelly was telling us about how if you think about it, despite all the veteran talent across this Wisconsin team, their first and second touches most of the year have been through freshmen, Schumacher, the libero, and Furbringer at setter. Do you buy into that? Because he was saying, well, you know, freshmen can kind of wear down a little bit sometimes in the NCAA. How do they how do they prevent that from happening if that's a thing? Well, I, I think they've done a really good job. I, I mean, you get better and better playing at this level, but you can't really prepare for this level until you get reps and, and live game stuff. And that's where Lola Schumacher and Charlie Furbringer have proven that they can play at the highest level. And they've really done a nice job transitioning. Sarah Franklin gets Wisconsin closer to the finish line. It's got to be fun to have Sarah Franklin on your team. Always an outlet. You can find her anywhere on the court. And she just has a great attitude, does what she needs to do, helps her teammates get better, good communicator, and great emotional leader. She's gotten better over time at moderating those emotions, managing any potential frustration. Another 
player taking that second ball in Booth. Johnson so good at that. And that block gets used there. Leverett continues to pile up the kills. Did you see that sweet hand set from Carter Booth? That's something Wisconsin spends a lot of time on. And, and I've seen it time after time, but all the players can step up and put up a hittable ball, when, especially when the setter digs it. Smrek terminates another. Anna Smrek has been on fire all night long. Again, Charlie Ferbringer using her in the middle, Carter Booth going behind, and that isolates her one-on-one. -on -one. She goes cross-body for the kill. That setter hit her connection. The last four matches coming in, Wisconsin at 391. They're currently at 400 in this match. Sheridan Leverett with a hitting error. She's been up close to 400 and is one kill away from 20. Sarah Franklin has 19 kills and is also in the high threes for Wisconsin. Anna Smrek, 16 kills, 609 as Leverett gets to 20. Sheridan Leverett's been impressive offensively for UCLA, but they need more players to help. She's done her job, and there's a good pass that sets up a quick ball to the pin and some space to work between the two Wisconsin blockers. Former Georgia Gatorade Player of the Year, Sheridan Leverett. Especially, too, you think about Leverett's performance on a team where they're over, overly reliant on her against a team like Wisconsin. What a performance from Leverett in most likely a losing effort. Match point here for the Badgers. A serve by Sage Damro, who had 15 digs in her libero debut. Sage Damro did a really nice job, and what a nice reward for a player like her who's working hard every day in the gym with her teammates, getting the opportunity.
எப்பயோ நான் பேசினால இருபது பேர் தான் வருவாங்க 